So we're making our way further into the uh, 1256 lava field here in the vent area and you can see the broken up uh, parts of the lava, the broken up upper surfaces and uh, this is then pushed around by the migration of the lava underneath and uh, these upper cooled plates they give this very uh, well um, jumbled appearance of the lava flow and this is what we see here. So uh, this means it was cooling at the surface, but dynamic underneath. And then uh, it produces these really kind of bizarre landscapes, almost like broken up ice in a uh, uh, sort of um, polar situation where ice is pushed together and then it's breaking up and creating these little rafts that stick up in random fashion. So here's the little spatter cone that we just looked at a few minutes ago. And uh, this was one of the vent sites, but the main vent site is actually over there. I'll bring you back just now. So here is one of the cones. And the main cone, the largest one, is this one here. Now, of course, uh, back in 12... 56. This was all described by local scholars and uh, there's a very good record of the events of the eruption and uh, this makes it a beautiful study object here and of course it also makes it very timely to look at things because the city of Medina has grown dramatically and uh, an event like this today would cause a lot more trouble than it did in 1256. So more soon. Thank you. All the best.